Hello, good morning! It's weekend and before we start into this weekend, I need coffee. Oh, that's so good! <laughs> ah, team, I'm filming these clips after all the clips that you see throughout this video. So I'm already done with all the things that I did to get my shit together. This is the topic of today's video because yeah, I feel like I had been a little bit chaotic in the last couple of weeks. I mean, I was training for a marathon. I was really, really busy when it comes to work. I tried to socialize as well. I tried to do many, many things and I feel like my apartment got a little bit chaotic. I didn't really take care of it. I didn't really take care of myself sometimes and I feel like it's time to reset, it's time to refocus, it's time to get my life together and get my shit together and if you feel the same way sometimes, maybe right now, then I hope this video helps you and inspires you to take a few steps to feel better about yourself, to feel better about your space, your apartment, about everything, about your whole entire life. I hope it inspires you, I hope it motivates you to get your life together as well. Team, if there is one thing that always helps me to feel a little bit more organized, to feel a little bit more that I have my life together, then it's writing. I love to write. Oops. I love to write things down. All you need for this is a pen, a piece of paper or a journal. I have a brand new fresh clean journal here. It's completely empty because my other journal was full. So this one is completely empty. And this already makes me feel like I'm starting fresh. I'm starting a new chapter, a new chapter in my life, a new growth era. <laughs> Does that make sense? Anyways, a fresh new clean journal. For example, I can write down the things that I want to accomplish today, tomorrow, in the next weeks, in the next months, in the next years. I love that. I love to write down goals. I love to write down my visions and ideas. I already made a video about my vision board. I also love to just visualize things that I want to accomplish and it makes me feel so excited about waking up every single day, having goals, working towards these goals. I highly, highly recommend. So make sure to get a journal as soon as possible and just start writing. Start writing to do, start writing goals, start writing things that you want to accomplish and that you want to do. We all should write a little bit more. We all should journal and plan a little bit more. And one thing that I think is really, really important here, it doesn't count if you do it on your laptop or if you do it on your phone. I think handwriting is so much more effective and so much more powerful. Okay, now, when you feel stuck or when you feel not excited about your life anymore, when you feel like I have to make a switch, I have to start this new era of myself, then I think one of the most powerful and one of the coolest things that you can do is decluttering, cleaning up your apartment, getting rid of things that you don't need anymore. When I have those days, and I, I've had one of these days on the weekend, I spend hours, I'm talking about hours, cleaning my apartment. And I mean cleaning my fridge, making my bed sheets, which is something I rarely do. And I don't even know how many times I should do that, but I don't do it often enough. I hate washing my bed sheets, but I think having a clean environment, having a clean space is so important if you want to feel like you have your life together. I work from here, which means I spend so many times and so many days in here. Sometimes I don't even leave the apartment except I'm walking to a grocery store and walk back. I'm here, in here all the time. And if I have cows in here, if I have a dirty environment, I feel chaotic and I feel dirty. I need a clean space to be creative, to be productive, to just feel energized and feel good. So I think having a clean space is really, really important. I have so many clothes that I'm not wearing anymore. I don't wear any of these clothes here. And then every single day I stand here and I'm like, what should I wear? I don't have anything. But here, looking at all these bags, it's all stuff that I'm not wearing. I have a serious problem, honestly. I have a problem. I bought so many clothes in the last couple of years. But instead of just buying a few items that I'm absolutely in love with, I was just buying so many things. So many things that I just don't love. It's time to sort out. It's time to sort out. 
I started to sell things on Vinted, but Vinted is really time consuming, especially if you have so many things. I had to look for another solution and I found this here, sell pea or sell pie. You get the bag, so they shipped it to me and then you fill it up with all your clothes that you don't need anymore and that you want to sell and then you send it to them and then they sell it for you and you get like 40%. I'm gonna do that with the nicer things, all the other things I'm gonna donate. I already donated, I think two full suitcases of clothes. I'm so shocked guys, I'm, I'm so shocked and I struggle a tiny bit to open this bag. How does it work? Hmm. I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna let you know how it works. Um, okay, I think it's here. Yeah, 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 you put it in here. But can I fully fill it up? Like, can I put in as many clothes as I want? That is crazy. I cannot believe that I have so many things. And even behind me, what's hanging here? I don't want to wear that anymore. Ooh. But decluttering, honestly, getting rid of things feels really good. It feels like I'm giving up the older version of myself and I'm getting ready for the newer version of myself, which I'm really excited about. I definitely get a few more items, new items for 2024. But before I get anything new, I want to get rid of the old thing. Oh. Wow, I'm so shocked. So shocked how many things I have here. The first bag is already filled up, which is problematic. I need another bag. I seriously need another bag. I made a little hole with my nail. Shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. And I also think this is now, now like done. It's filled up. <laughs> I thought it's cute when I bought it. I think it's two years old already. This is completely full. So now we close it and I think I already ordered another one. But this is cool. I don't have to sell it myself. It was really cool. It saves me a lot of time. Bag number one is done. Whoa. This is exhausting. This is really exhausting. I'm done. It's like a workout. Cleaning and decluttering and getting rid of things. It's like a workout, honestly. I feel like my heart rate is high. It's like cardio and I need a little snack. It also makes me really hungry. I have these tuna patties here. Tuna patties or balls. I made them yesterday. Hmm. They're still really good. Mmm. Whoa. They're so good. I made these with one can of tuna, two eggs, and then I mix it with chickpea flour so they get solid. Mm. And then I keep going. I also want to clean the bathrooms. What else? I think the cake. Just gonna bring out the trash, but then I'm definitely done. Oh, I'm feeling so good. Not being on my phone and just listening to podcasts or TED Talks and cleaning. That's fun. It's just a bit dry, that's why I need to add some ketchup. A lot of ketchup. I love ketchup. <laughs> yubby, yubby, yubby. Oh my god. Mm, some potatoes. Why do leftovers always taste so good? Even better than when it's fresh. I don't know. Mm. This is so annoying. Uh oh. I am the cleaning queen. 
cleaning since hours. And the reward is a clean bathroom. A clean bathroom is so good. I love having a clean bathroom without hair on the floor and without hair everywhere. Even though my hair is blonde, like I lose a lot of hair. And what I mean is you can't see it everywhere. But when you look close, like really close on the floor and on the surfaces, then you can see that there is hair everywhere. So I love to just vacuum clean and not have any hair anywhere. I have this one ick. Like this one ick that I really have is hair. I hate hair. I hate when hair is lying somewhere. It gives me the ick. I have really hate it. I don't know. It's so weird because it's so normal to lose hair. Even my own hair. The worst is if it's in food, but it's also super bad if it's like lying everywhere. I have this really crazy ache. So cleaning the bathroom is really important to me. I do that regularly. I do that every second day, actually. I try to vacuum clean or let's say every three days. The last tip when it comes to cleaning team is here, my mixture. This is apple cider vinegar and water. And I have this tip from my mom. She's She was she told me you have to clean with apple cider vinegar because it's really good to get rid of dirt and it's really good to get rid of bacteria. That's what she says. It's like disinfection, natural des disinfection. And try it, honestly, it really works. Sometimes also when I have like glasses that are really dirty and I cannot get rid of the dirt on them, then I clean it with apple cider vinegar and they get clean again, they shine again. So this is my number one tip if you have any other cleaning tips then put it down in the comments i think i'm done i'm so done ah it's already night <laughs> i was cleaning almost like the, the the full day i'm done thank you thank you i'm done who is ready for dinner me i'm ready for dinner i have something left over which still smells good it's chickpea curry with rice underneath. Yum! There is a life hack we all didn't know we need. I saw a recipe book the other day and in this recipe book I saw that if you have broccoli and you add hot water, you just need to add boiling water, then this is the only thing you have to do to get it like soft. I have no idea if this works, but if this works, I just let it swim in there for a few minutes. If this really works, if the broccoli gets soft, then I wasted a lot of time boiling water like in a pot on the oven. I still, I still don't believe that this works. Hmm. It didn't work. The broccoli is still hard and not soft. So what I do is I pop it into the microwave. This is another hack that I have seen. And I hope this hack works. So it's just this pot with water and then there's broccoli in and I hope it gets softer now. I made this fully myself. Even the curry, it's homemade. Broccoli, curry and some rice. This looks so delicious. Bump, 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 bump. Hot chocolate time. My dessert today is a protein hot chocolate. Mmm, which is protein powder, some milk. A little bit of water mixed with the protein powder and then I heat it up. Mmm, that's my favorite dessert now in fall. Mm. Then I also have half a protein bar here and half of this Lindt chocolate. I got this gifted. That was a gift. Mmm. Lindt has such good chocolate. Mm. Hier gibt's auch keine Taxis, aber Gäste können sich meinen Wagen ausleihen. A get your life together day or a get your life together weekend needs some sort of self-care. I, 
I, I think not even just for a day or not even for a weekend. Actually, self-care should always be on your list. It should always come first because I think it is so important that you take care of yourself and that you prioritize yourself. And prioritizing yourself, it's not something that you feel bad for. Like you shouldn't feel like you're selfish because you put yourself first and because you prioritize yourself first. I mean, I keep telling you here on this channel and on my podcast and like everywhere that you have to make sure that your cup is full. Like if you have an empty cup, if you if your cup is empty, then you cannot give anything to others. And that's what we are here for, right? Like we are here in this world to give to others, to help others, to support others, to share things with others. But if we don't have energy, if our cup is empty, then we cannot give anything to anyone. That's why I think it's so important to point out that you have to take care of yourself. You have to put yourself first, prioritize yourself. It's not selfish. And especially on a Get Your Life Together weekend, you should make time for that. And self-care could come in many different forms. To me, it's fueling my body with foods that make me feel my absolute best. It's a lot of whole foods, a lot of home-cooked meals. They make me feel amazing. They make me feel good. But also, as you know, I always leave room for soul foods because I think life is about balance. It's not about following any strict diet plans or nutrition plans, especially when it comes to food. It's about balance. So make sure to eat a lot of whole foods, make sure to fuel your body, but also make sure to leave a little bit of room for soul foods. Also other forms of cell care to me, it's about moving my body. I love moving my body. And on a get your life together day, like why not going out for a walk? Go out for a walk without your phone, without anything, and just be out there, be in nature. Just check out what's going on around you. I think being mindful going on a mindful walk, be out in nature. It makes you feel so, so good and so much happier and healthier. And last but not least, self-care to me is also winding down, winding down from the stressful life. Like I love having a hot bath, reading a book. So taking care of yourself, whatever makes you feel relaxed and good, do it. I did it on this weekend. And I mean, I felt pretty good today <laughs> talking about all the things that I did in the past days. Get rid of all the makeup and all the dirt from the day. Oh, I'm feeling so relaxed now. Sometimes I forget to clean my neck and then I clean my neck with a water pad and then I see how dirty it is. So always clean your face, but also your neck. Don't skip that. Do not skip that. Okay, what else do we need? I put a bit of serum on today. This is the Biotherm Serum, which is really nice because it's hydrating so much. Mm. And then I put on my night cream. My face wash is also from Biotherm, this one here. I really like that, it lasts forever. And then I put on my night cream. Mm. And then I'm done. <sighs> Tonight, I also give my hair some extra love. I have this hair oil from Olaplex and I put it on my hair to give it some extra love. Done. Okay, there's one thing that I have to share with you that I did on this weekend because it's so exciting. It's so freaking cool. Team, if you are from Berlin, if you come to Berlin, I get my own smoothie here in a smoothie shop. Like you can go in there and you can try this movie. I created it together with the smoothie shop which is called Sunu. So you can rock in there. You can be like, hey, I want to try Anna smoothie. Here's my helper today. Hello, Juju. Hello, YouTube fam. <laughs> <laughs> we are filming content. Marcel is making this movie. I have a brother that I never told you about. Here he is. Marcel, can you come here quickly? Here he is. What do you have to say to the YouTube family today? Uh, one pro tip for Anna at the marathon was um, never trust the fart. <laughs> they have seen it. You, have you seen mentioned it. it, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I cut out the second tip. Do you remember what the second tip was? Uh, cut. We really want to make the best movie, the best movie in town. And I hope you all can come to Berlin. You all can come to Sunu and we all drink smoothie together. Woohoo! 
and then you can try it. It's gonna be so cool, especially now for the fall and autumn season, we've created it for it. And it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's with apple crumble on top and I love crumble. I love these, oh, it's so delicious. It tastes like apple pie. And the whole smoothie, it's with protein. Everything that I wanna have in a smoothie, it's in there. It's so delicious, it's so good. And we had a photo shoot on the weekend for it. We made photos, we made videos. I'm gonna share a few tiny bits of it with you. So you also see how unglamorous the behind the scenes of making photos like that looks like. It's so unglamorous, but it was a lot of fun. Bye, Juju. Thank you so much for your help today. See you. Team, my very own smoothie that you can get in Berlin. Look at this beauty. It's almost empty because everyone had a sip and I hate to share food, but I asked them to try it and all of them said, whoa, it's so delicious. It's, it's so delicious. It's so good. I'm so curious what you think. So if you are in Berlin, you should definitely check it out. Come here to see you and try it. It's available really, really soon. And it's so delicious. Mm. So today we made all the promo content. We made photos, we made videos. It was like three hours in total. And I'm so freezing. I'm so freezing cold right now. Can you see that? I'm shaking. And also this movie is really, really cold. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna pack up my stuff here now and then I go, everyone else already left. But it was fun. I'm also really tired now though. So let's go home and then let's chill. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. so cold still but i'm back home and it's cozy now i'm having some baked potatoes for lunch today i made a lot of baked veggies oven baked veggies zucchini potatoes i think that was it and i made a hot tea wow this is everything i need right now so much hectic today you know you see oh fuck oh, oh shit <laughs> you know, you see on social media photos and videos and when you see photos, like a photo dump of someone, five nice pictures and you swipe through and you think, oh, these five nice pictures just made out in the moment. Like most of the times it's a lot of photos that need to be taken. We made a lot of photos today and then I choose two of them, two or three. We definitely made more than 100. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. We made so many photos and videos. Let me share with you. We started here. And now look at this. Down, 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 down. Down, no, 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 no. Down, down, down. What? Oh my God, I'm shocked. And that's just with the iPhone. We also made some camera photos. So a lot. Now I have to go through all of them. And then I pick the ones that I like. And then you see it on Insta. Oh, today had been a long day of like working and stuff, but it was fine. Here's an important one, especially when you feel like you're in a rut right now, you feel very unorganized, you feel very chaotic, your apartment is a little bit messy and you haven't had time to clean it up for a really, really long time. I want to mention here that it's so normal and it's so okay. And sometimes we don't have time to get our lives together. And that is okay too. Like if you are in a rut right now, I'm here to cheer you on. I'm so here to cheer you on to help you to support you and to get you out of this rut again but i'm also here to just let you know that it's okay sometimes and it's normal sometimes and i never ever want you to judge yourself for being in a rut and not feeling organized and i think it's so important to mention here sometimes we all feel that way you are not alone with this you are not alone a weekend spend on your own, it is so powerful. It makes you feel stronger, it makes you feel more confident. So spend more time by yourself. I think alone time is really, really important. And I don't have a problem, to be honest, to spend time by myself. I go on solo dates. I don't have a problem to spend 24 hours in here in my apartment. I always find things to do. Just a quick tip, like avoid your phone, especially on the Get Your Life Together weekends. And of course, I could make my life easy and I could grab my phone and scroll on social media, but it's not what I do. I do things that make me feel better and that don't make me feel like I'm comparing myself to others and I feel like they have such an exciting life and I'm here getting my life together. So I'm trying to avoid my phone and it always makes me feel better and it makes me focus more on my vision and on my life and on my goals. 
spend time on your own alone time is really powerful but also if you want to spend time with friends if you feel like you need someone to talk to then go for it i also met one friend for dinner we had an amazing dinner we ordered food and then we were brainstorming for a greece trip because we want to go to greece together so we were planning what kind of activities we can do which was so much fun <laughs> what my boy <laughs> Andrea and I, we are planning a trip. Girls trip. I'm really excited actually. It's already October. It's somehow the summer season is over, but I'm really craving summer still. Oh, I still need sun. I still need a little hideaway for like a week. And I'm really excited for this. So this is the first trip with her. I'm really excited. It's going to be a mix of work, party, hiking, enjoying the sun, going to the beach, having some fun and nice chats, dancing a lot, singing a lot, enjoying life and being present. That's exactly how it's going to be like. I love spending time with her because she is such a nice person. I met her at an event, which is so funny. She's such an open person and I'm, or I haven't been like an open person. I'm really shy. I was really shy because I'm getting better, but I was really shy. And she asked me if I want to join her friend group. So I did. And that's how we came together. She's also from Austria. I think that's our connection point. But yeah, we are hanging out a lot here in Berlin. And I think this is so cool to see that when you move to a new city, you can still build new friendships. And that's so cool because yeah, coming to a new city is quite lonely first. And it's quite intimidating to make new friends, but it's possible and I want to encourage everyone to make friends, go out, be open. You can form really nice, meaningful and powerful relationships. Yeah, at any age. I have my tea now after we had such an amazing dinner. I had pho again. Oh, I love pho. Now it's soup season. I'm just ending the day with tea and a protein bar, watching a bit of Netflix for like 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go to bed. And that's it for today. If I can get my life together after feeling a little bit chaotic and a little bit stuck, then you can get your life together too. And I hope this video inspired you and it motivated you. It gave you some ideas on what you can do to make you feel a little bit better and to make you feel like you have all your shit sorted. <laughs> I really hope this video inspired you, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna get ready now. I have to get out of my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting late. But yeah, before we end this video, I give you a big, big, big hug. The biggest hug that I have for you. We've got this team. No matter what life throws at us, no matter how chaotic we sometimes feel, we've got this. We're so strong. We're so strong together. So big hug. Bye, bye, bye. Good. Bye, bye. Mwah.